Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the final two issues of the Warhammer 40,000 Legends Collection. They're in here. Doesn't need much to open this, doesn't need a knife, just a, a, a pull tab. And here they are. You got here issue 67 and issue 79. Well, issue 79. This is 79 and 80. Uh, even though it doesn't say issue 80, uh, nothing says here on my little invoice that it's going past 80. I think it is. I haven't had an email or anything from them. Other people have said that the issues uh, go, go past 80 now. I need to go on the website, need to find out. But as promised, I will show you the entire collection in a separate video uh, after this one. Uh, but first of all, let's have a first look at these. So issue 79 is Ravenna Rogue, and issue 80, although it doesn't say, is Void Stalker by Aaron Dembski Bowden. Uh, Ravenna Rogue is by Dan Abnett. So let's have a look at Ravenna Rogue. Uh, I think I do have Ravenna Rogue. Um, I think I've got all the Eisenhorn and the Ravenna books. Uh, so this one here is number 73 and it looks like it's got um, some kind of uh, inquisitorial um, staff there. And the preface reads, Inquisitor Gideon Ravenna, proud servant of the Ordo Hereticus, continues his fight against the dark forces that threaten mankind. Horribly crippled at the very start of his career, Ravenna's body is permanently confined to a mobile life support system, yet his intellect is without peer and he is a powerful psyker. In the third book of the series, Ravenna continues his persecution of the arch-heretic Zygmunt Moloch, a hunt that has for him now become an obsession. When another band of Inquisition agents is slaughtered, Ravenna and his team go rogue, pursuing their quarry in direct contravention of Inquisition orders. Thrown through time and space, pitted against enemies of limitless power and cunning, just how much must Ravenna and his team sacrifice to save the day? Ooh, there we go. So this is the third book of the series. It will set you back 300, 346 pages. And it was first published in 2007. So 12 years old, okay. Fair enough. Uh, there's the, the front cover, Ravenna Road by Wayne England. You've got the timeline. Of course, it sets uh, place in uh, the 41st millennium. Inquisitorial henchmen revealed, explicators and interrogators, sages and sa savants, penitents and pariahs, psychers and seers, and priests and exorcists. And manifestation by Matt Bradbury. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Hive Life by Ignacio Bazan Lascano. Pretty gruesome. Wow, look at that scale. Pandemonium by Alvaro Calvo Escudero. Wow, that looks like a sentinel there. Magus by Andrea Uderzo and A World in Ruins by Eric Schreiner or Schreiner. Corsadrad by John Blanche and Ossuary by Guillaume Ducos or Guillaume Ducos. And there you go, a little bit of an advert as well. So there you go, Ravenna, the third book in the series. Pretty good. good. Uh, Dan Abnett's uh, works are always uh, fantastic in my experience. And then issue 80, although it doesn't say, a Void Stalker. Uh, let's. Oh, it does say, hey, it's on the back for some reason. That's odd, isn't it? Okay, so. Let me read you the preface of this book then. 
So, Void Stalker. The hunters have become the hunted. The Night Lords flee to the dark fringes of the Imperium to escape their relentless pursuers, the Eldar of Craftworld Ulthwi. Their flight takes them to the Carrion world of Sagualsa, where their Primarch died and their legion was broken. There, history will repeat itself as a deadly assassin stalks the shadows and the Night Lords are drawn into a battle they are destined to lose. Ooh. Okay. Again, Aaron Dembski Bowden is synonymous with 40k lit literature. Uh, this was first published in 2012, and the page count sets you back, I want to say 400, no, almost 400, 377 pages. And this is the artwork. So, this is the uh, front cover Void Stalker by John Sullivan. You've got the timeline, takes place in the 41st millennium. Uh, Jane Zar revealed. This is quite um, topical at the moment because Jane Zar, the plastic model, Phoenix Lord, has just been revealed um, on the community website. If you go and have a look at that now, uh, the first Exarchs, the Storm of Silence. So it might be worth reading this if you've got this collection. Um, Illuminations, just a few different um, chapters of Ultramarines, Black Consoles. They're mine. That's very interesting. The last issue of of the series, and it's got my. Uh, my chapter in there. And then Swooping Hawk by Pedro Nunes. Does the illumination say who that's by? No, it doesn't. And then Night Lord by Paul Dainton. I love his work. Really, really crisp. Really grim dark. Striking Scorpions of Ulthway by Clint Langley. Interesting pose, both the legs that way, facing that way. Night Lord Terminator by John Sullivan. Night Lord by John Sullivan. And then Jane Zar by Kevin Chin. I think there's some new artwork as well of Jane Zar um, on the community website. Oh, here we go. Jane Zar by Mark Gibbons. And then Howling Banshees by Alex Boyd. And then a little bit of an advert. So there you go. Uh, that is Void Stalker by Aaron Dembski Bowden. Um, they're the two issues. They are the last issues in the series, I think. Um, I also think that they're going to um, carry on the series. But I haven't had an email. I haven't had any uh, notification. Nothing in the invoice there about it carrying on. So all intents and purposes, I could just end it now and just cancel the direct debit. Uh, it would be cool if it continues. But we'll see. If you've read these books, please um, enlighten us below, but try and keep it spoiler free. That'd be excellent. Stay tuned for my full video showing all of the 80 issues in the collection. It's essentially cost me £800 to carry on with this subscription. Um, so that's how much that video basically has cost to produce. Um, so it'd be great if you could join me for that one. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.